it's time to lace up your gloves and get in the ring with Rocky Balboa and Clubber Lang as we try to go the distance with Rocky Three. Stay with us. Get ready for the 3324 Podcast, where lifelong friends Dean Legiro and Eric Cooper share their love of all things music and movies. Dean has directed short films and is a music trivia buff. And Eric, trained in audio engineering, brings his extensive knowledge of music and film to the conversation as they discuss, debate, and celebrate their favorite albums, films, and much more. Welcome, friends, to the 3324 Podcast We've got a rough and tumble and rowdy crew here today uh, that is ready. You know, talk about pugilistic. Sean, how, how's that for a 50 buck word? I thought that oh, was man. great. I'll give you 50 Pugil- bucks. Pugilistic. That's a big oh, one. That's a big one. Where did one. you pull so- that one from? <clears throat> <laughs> from? Parts unknown. We'll leave it there. Parts unknown. Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> so uh yes well welcome one and all to the 3324 podcast thanks for joining us each week as we take an excursion through the minds of of eric and myself uh the twisted world of music and movies that we inhabit and hopefully uh you enjoy taking the journey with us you can find us on social media at 3324 podcast that's on instagram and facebook eric we've got another batch of guests here today i like pull i like pulling these three together it's almost like a reverse threes company <laughs> A lot, a lot we've of fun. Got in, in the, in the Jack fun. Tripper role, we've got Christy Cuomo. Okay. Yeah. Welcome aboard. In the Janet Wood role, we've got Sean Grady. Uh, I guess I'll take on. She, she was that. <laughs> thank you. So that I'll makes Jerry uh, and in, in, in which, which blonde in Chrissy is... Snow and, and portraying Chrissy Snow for this okay. episode is Jerry Sullivan making his return appearance. <laughs> Greetings. I guess you need to My dye your hair blonde. My friends used to say I look like Mr. Furley. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'd rather take her. That Chris would make you and you and Eric the Ropers. Is that is that what you're trying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds about right. Yes, we would be the ro- no, I, I would be Larry. Oh, you're Larry? Okay. Oh, Larry, Larry okay. was great. You wouldn't be you're definitely not Larry. Er- Eric's the bartender at the Regal Beagle. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> well, one of those guests like Robert Mandan and Jeffrey Campbell, like all yeah. those ro- like rolling guests that would come in, like yep. you know, that would kind of always or yeah, the guy he's like the, the the boy the boyfriend or the guy swinging into town. So yep. Um, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Christy Cuomo here. We've got Sean Grady. We've got Jerry Sullivan. So thank you guys, thank you guys all for yeah, joining pleasure. us. Um, we're talking about Rocky Three. Yeah. Um, and this was Sean's pick. I I sent Sean a, a list. I said, Hey Sean, why don't you choose one? And uh, you know he sent back a, a list of uh, of luminary films. And uh, I thought, you know what? Rocky three was on my list anyway. And I think that was, you know, uh, we've been wanting to get to that one. So I think mm-hmm. it's kind of, and it, and it keeps in, in our, our obsession with eighties films, specifically like 81 and 82 events that yeah. music and movies from that, that, that two year span seem to really uh, be something special. So we're going to yeah. be talking about that. So let's get to the stats and then we'll start. Uh, we'll start the fun and game. So this was released in May of 1982 written and directed by Sylvester Stallone, $17 million budget and a $270 million total box office. Now that's cumulative cumulative now. Hmm. Um, it still did very well, uh, well enough that it was the fourth highest grossing film of 1982, believe it or not. Uh, and it got an Oscar nomination for Eye of the Tiger. Hmm. The that's song, that's the yes. Song about, yeah. That's the song about the cornflake mascot <laughs> that was in an accident and uh, had like a Thor type thing happen to him. And, um, wow. Nothing crickets. Okay. Yeah, crickets. Wow. crickets. Hoping, it will, hoping it will pass. <laughs> okay. Let's get into the cast then before we get any further. Uh, so Mr. Stallone is, of course, as Rocky Balboa returning for his third, third trip around. Talia Shire is Adrian. Does anybody know Adrian's maiden name? Coppola. Coppola. No, I was just no, gonna I say Coppola. The character name, not her. Oh, the Adrian's. Oh, uh, yeah, in the in the movie, what's her, what's whatever her Paulie's last name? Whatever, yeah, whatever Paulie. Paulie's last name is. Okay, so then what's so Paulie's what, last name? Oh, we, fucking man. sure. What's Paulie's last name? Uh, Paulie Shore. <laughs> no. Oh man. Wait, wow. got, got you already. This. Yeah. One down. Why is it Jeff Lynn? 
<laughs> no, that's the bell for stumping stumping everybody. Yeah, Adrian we can have the same bell for Lynn. Is everyone taking a drink when we get stumped? So, What's going on uh, here? Adrian, Adrian Adrian's, Buckingham. Adrian's maiden name is Panino. Oh, so yeah. Panino. Paulie, okay. Paulie Panino, Paulie which is Panino. just a weird name. Paulie Panino, uh, which is Burt Young, of course, the great Burt Young. Uh, Burgess oh, Meredith as Mickey Goldmill. Carl Weathers as Apollo Creed. And Mr. T as... Mm. Clubber Lang. Anybody know what Clubber Lang's first name is? James. Hey, there we go, Sean. Sean got it. James Clubber Lang, which I didn't know that was his first name until today. No, that's his nickname. His name is James. Was Apollo's first name really Apollo? I doubt it. That's the the way it's described in the uh, in in the all well, he did name his son Adonis so yeah I'm, I'm yeah. probably guessing um, that could be the check very confident true. family yeah Fa- family really <laughs> is just very confident with the and and they're into the whole god the god god and goddess thing so oh, that, mm-hmm. uh, you know it it only goes it only goes to stand so um yeah I I remember I mean Eric did you see it did we see it in the theater together I know I saw it in the theater I don't think I saw it with you um. I saw it with Dwight. Yeah, Dwight, our, fr- our friend Dwight Burke. Show, Dwight Burke. Yeah, and our, our mutual friend Johnny Cruz. Winner in our trivia nights. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, and I think I saw it with with his sister, with Dwight's okay. sister. I think we all went. Yeah, so nice. that was that. So good times. Sean? Good times. Sure. Was, were you of age? I, I was. I was definitely of age. I believe I was eight, and I think I I. I know I saw it in the theater. It was spoiled for me by my neighbor. So I knew, I knew exactly <laughs> what was going to happen. My, I had an older neighbor. Um, that, Does that to an eight year old. Yeah. Yeah. He was older than me. <laughs> it was, an awful was probably person. like 10, eight, eight, nine, 10 years older than me. He lived right next door. And you know, he'd let me hang out sometimes, but um, I believe I saw this one before the other two as well. Whoa, I think whoa, whoa. I saw this one first. You hung out with an 18 year old when you were no, eight? No, my mom was friends with, <laughs> it was my aunt Norm, like we called it aunt, aunt and uncle. They were our neighbors and like we would go over there, you know, as, as guests and, you know, you just got it. Someone, you know, hang out with Moving the little kid, you know, the big kid who was cool. <laughs> Have a catch with him in the yard and things like that. Yeah. The, the neighbor. Yeah. The neighbor, the local neighbor. Jerry, what about you? Was this a theater seat? No, I didn't see. Uh, the first Rocky I ever saw was Rocky Four, and mm-hmm. that wasn't even in the theater. I didn't see this till much later. And hmm. then, like two really, nights ago, love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whenever I saw it, I, I I crammed for it. So no, I'd seen Rocky Four, and then I went back and saw the others. So, uh-huh. and Christy, what about you? I I didn't see it in the theater, but I saw it. Um... Like Jerry, I, Rocky Four was my first Rocky movie, which I did see in the theater. Because when this came, when Rocky Three came out, I was five. Um, but I, I've seen it a, n- a number of times. Again, two older yeah. brothers, seen it a number of times. Uh, always liked it. Um, who doesn't like a cheesy Rocky movie? I didn't realize it was the fortieth anniversary. This is the forty. It was the fortieth. Yeah, yeah, summer of eighty two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I realized that we were watching it less, and I'm like, oh my god, this forty years ago, forty years old. Yeah. And then I had to look up to see how old Stallone was, and I was like, he's seventy six. That's yeah. it. Yeah, he's still young. He's actually working on another Rocky. There's a another Rocky, either a TV series, like a streaming series, or another <laughs> film in development. Her head, no, uh, either yeah. with him, some point, either, he got either with him or a younger. Like, the streaming series would be like a prequel. Hmm. Uh, taking place like in the 60s or he's got an idea for a feature film uh one more which we'll talk about is is he going to the well uh too many times but yeah. um i i think we you know what you know i was thinking about these the rocky series because there are six rocky films and then there's two creed films so we'll just you know just the 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 six rocky films i almost think of the first three as a trilogy uh-huh. and mm-hmm. then the second three are kind of a separate thing you know, because the first, you know, Rocky three really closes out like the whole arc. You know, yeah. he, he he doesn't win in the first one. He wins in the second one. The third one, he's put to the test to see if he's got what it takes. Everything after that is kind of like superhero Rocky. Like he's battling, you know, he might as well battle yeah. Superman. And, you know, anything else is just kind of other things. What do, you, Sean, what do you think about that? Is that is that kind of hold water? That theory? I, I think that's an interesting take. Um, yeah, it seemed like everything that needed to be done was accomplished in the first three. But then you you got the cold war going on and Rocky goes to Russia. He beats the Russian. I remember being in the theater for that one and the mm. audience cheering with the two gloves. Then you got Rocky's trying to train a 
that Rocky Five was, you know, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I liked Rocky Balboa a lot. I thought that, I, I liked did, it. I, did I thought too. it worked. Yeah. Um, so interesting take on it. Um, but listen. Yeah, because the, 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 the back three movies kind of dealt with his injury, right? Because right. Rocky Four, he gets traumatic, you know, some type of a brain injury. So there's a whole separate story, you know. Uh, you know, the loss of Adrian. So that's almost like a three, a three movie cycle in and of itself where the, you know, Rocky four kind of sets the stage for the next two films where he takes such a brutal punishment and such a brutal beating that in, you know, Rocky Balboa, I mean, in Rocky five, he can't fight anymore. And then Rocky Balboa, you know, which was significantly uh, later, uh, but still kind of continues that same character arc and trajectory. Mm hmm. I, uh, funnily enough, I just I think I just read apparently um, Rocky two was supposed to be the th Rocky three. He had another script written right uh, right after the first film where it was a sort of an in between story where he's basically he never <clears throat> he, he doesn't really change. He's still the same character he was in the first movie. Adrian actually gets kind of tired of him. Mm -hmm. and actually meets another guy she he she oh. leaves him for another wow. guy and there's this whole thing there Let me so there's, but there's no there's no fight in the second part it's just rocky what? acclimating himself to you know of course the studio didn't reject yeah. it didn't want it stallone holds you know he he loves that script he's like i wish i could have made it but mm -hmm. you know, powers that be wouldn't let me um so that became you know rocky two which was i and i remember seeing that in the theater and the people were going nuts. I, yeah. I think I told this story a couple of times on this already, but uh, that was the first time I ever experienced a real audience reaction mm. to that fight. And the, they had to turn the house lights up because people were too so rowdy and standing on their chairs. And, wow. and the, the, the ushers came in; they couldn't get everybody to sit down, so they just said, "Fuck it." You know, they just turned the house lights up so nobody would get hurt. Let it run. But they knew. But, you know, there was popcorn flying and the people were, get up, Rocky. And when they were yelling at Rocky in the in the movie, we were yelling at Rocky to get the hell up off. You know, it was great. That was probably the best experience wow. I had with any of these films. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and, but, and oddly enough, the studio didn't want Sylvester Stallone to direct these films. Hmm. Um, he got a lot of clout with Rocky. When Rocky, in between, he had directed a movie called Paradise Alley, which was a bomb, but he directed that. Yeah. Um, and then he's like, well, I want to direct Rocky too. And the studio's like, no, not really. Um, you know, look at Paradise Alley. He goes, well, if I don't direct it, I'm not going to be in Rocky too. So he actually had some some leverage uh, against them and uh, they let him direct it and and it paid off. You know, Rocky too is, was a great kind of, you know, sequel to to the, you know, he didn't win. Um, we've talked about that on, on other episodes before. And then Rocky three, you know, he's, he's got the clout and, and I think a lot of Christy, you know, what do you think about this? Uh, uh, some people, for some reason, like Sylvester Stallone, he gets, I think a lot of people think that he is like Rocky Balboa. Like he's not very intelligent or like, mm. like that. He's that character. He's so closely defined that I don't think people realize what a skilled screenwriter and really what a capable and good director he really is and, and, and these stories that he comes out with. But I think because, you know, it's like, hey, you know, Adrian, hey, what's going on? You know, and they think that that's him. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and they don't realize that the, that the guy behind it is, is directing these films. Well, it's hard for me to uh, separate that, even though I know he did all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it, I it's still also have in the back of my head that it's Rocky yeah, writing that's, things. Yeah. <laughs> but he 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 jumped from he jumps from Rocky to Rambo. Uh, Copland is probably one of the few movies where he stepped out of his comfort zone because he also does Expendables. He he does these tough guy, dumbed down guy, you know, characters. Yeah. And Copland was probably the first movie you're like, oh okay, like he's he's he he has a range here he just doesn't really do it but he, yeah he's he's a he's a it, look there's always been speculation there's been you know it's not a secret that someone said that they claim they wrote the screenplay and that he stole it and, and all that so assuming that sylvester stallone wrote the scripts they're really good scripts and they're mm -hmm. very well directed movies so assuming he did everything no he's very talented he just never he just stayed he didn't never got out of his comfort zone with it you know, and 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 almost to what Eric is saying is, um, where he's at seventy six, he's he's thinking about another Rocky movie. It's like, 
do something else. Show if you have a range, go yep. with it. I would argue that he he created his own. Well, I mean, I never really thought about this before. It just occurred to me as I watched the third one again. Um, <clears throat> but he, you know, he created his own universe, didn't he? This yeah. Is, this is one of the great franchises, and and it's all him. It's all he wrote it. He directed it. Most of them. Yeah. There's nobody else. You know, nobody else. I mean, I, I think the studio probably stepped in and dictated that. You know, yeah, we need this and we need another adversary. You know, uh, but. Uh, look at Rocky Four. Look at the way he changed the movie. I don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, the Not new yet. version of it. He recut the movie. I think it's a better film because it's just it's, it, it it kind of lowers that goofiness that it was you know back in the eighties. Mm -hmm. Of course, it was very much a movie of its time. Yeah. But uh, but he decided that when he watched it again, he's like, no, I, I you know there's some things that I. I want to change about this. You know, I've, I've learned a few things over the years. I'm a, I'm a, I think I'm a better, more capable director and writer now. So I want to go back and, and fix some of this stuff. You know, he George Lucas did. Yeah. yeah well, quite, I don't, I don't know that term on previous episodes. He went back and, and uh, yeah, and that was a big thing. Yeah. And, it, and it premiered on Amazon prime exclusively the, the new yeah. cut of it. Um, the, the point I'm trying to make is that I think Sylvester Stallone is very underrated. You know, he's very, a very formidable screenwriter. He writes mm -hmm. a lot of films um, and he directs a lot. He doesn't direct everything that he's in, but he's but he's certainly not afraid to to do that and to direct films. And he, and you know uh, he did the fight choreography for Rocky Three too. So he had you know yeah. there's a lot going on there. He he's got his hands in everything. So he's not just a like an Arnold Schwarzenegger that shows up and and all the heavy lifting is done. The script is done. The, you know the special effects. You know Sylvester Stallone's really got his hand literally got his hands in the gloves. Yeah. doing all the work you know and i right. and i think we really kind of need to um need to appreciate that um rocky three because yeah, we keep coming back to these movies because they they do yeah. have i mean we we're in love with these characters i mean staying so power. it's staying power it's got they all have a lot of heart you know despite the fact that they're more you know the sequels are more sort of hollywood and more i would say that rocky three and four are probably the most action-packed yeah, mm -hmm. you know, given the whole like the action star that he that he became, yep. Rocky was part of that. You yeah, know, he so made Rocky the Three is, is definitely fa it's faster, it's shorter, it's it's like nonstop. You know, beginning yeah. to end, like not a, a lot of a lot more action, a lot more fun. Well, yeah, that's because it, yeah. because Three starts where he 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 doesn't concentrate on story as much as on boxing. So mm -hmm. one and two are more story driven. Boxing's a big part of it, but then yeah. once you get to three and four you have a lot more it's it's a there's a story there but it's not nearly as meaty the, mm -hmm. the you it's not as dramatic for, yeah. you're there for the montages you're there yeah. for the boxing I and mean, that's, that's what, what you're going to is, is the, that's yeah, what he, i was getting to in watching rocky three in the first seven minutes it's a flashback and a montage yeah <laughs> The first seven minutes what, are, is a don't flashback rocky on, movies. A, a recap <laughs> of what happened before in case you missed it yeah, uh, or if you didn't always see it, does. You, yeah. catch, you catch the end of the last movie, right? And then there's a montage bringing you up to speed of what happened in between before we catch up with the characters. And and I don't know if if Stallone like that's got to be one of his stock and trade is is the montage. He loves putting clips together of and, and you know to move and it helps it helps move the story along because it's you know mm -hmm. we, do we need to see every training session no we need to see them things grouped together his development he sucks he's struggling he's getting better he's yeah. then he's then he's perfect at it you know and and the montage it like is is yeah that's a hallmark of of the rocky <laughs> yeah. films in general and i think i don't know if he certainly didn't invent it but i don't know if other action movies started grabbing it because then there was all the always a montage and you know like in commando of you know, Arnold putting the knife in and putting the vest on and all these, yeah. you know, like that became a, a, a quick way of storytelling or getting some, uh, getting some kinetic energy. Well, I think, you know, the, the film, the first two movies, they deal with a lot with his, you know, just coming, you know, coming to terms with everything, falling in love, getting married and showing, you know, him trying to, he can't box anymore because of his, his eye and he's got to get an, a proper job. So I think, Critically speaking, I think critics didn't care for that. It was a little too much. Um, so maybe that's why he came up with that trope of, of the montage, because there's a lot there going on. How to, you know, him getting famous and him, yeah. you know, becoming handsome and, and fixing his face and all that stuff and, and him, you know, getting the big house. I mean, that could have been a the whole movie. 
you know, the part, that big right. part of that story could have been half the movie right there of just yeah. that. You know, much like well, Rocky too. But it, it's interesting in the film. Paulie actually says to him, you know, when he's going on before he asks him for a job, he's like, "Look at you, you, you know, do this, you do, you fix your face." And yeah. because, and I guess that would maybe I, I purposely written into the script so we acknowledge he looks different. <laughs> like, yes, he's got oh, he the does. feathered hair. His his hair. his complexion. Yeah. His everything. He's smarter. Yes. From yeah, all of a sudden, he's well educated, and yeah. well, you know, <laughs> he's friends, smarter. You know, friends, 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 the cadence he's, isn't quite as yeah. like, ooh, you know, like you know. And, but and yeah, three, he's, he's smart, and four, he's smarter, yeah. and then five, and then at the uh, and five, five, it's like boom. Just, wow. Just, <laughs> yeah. Just it's like flowers <laughs> for Algernon. Friends don't know. Friends, friends do because they want to. You know, but those little details. I mean, you say like, okay. It's it's a little ridiculous, but when you think about it, if he made that much money, yeah, he's going to sit down with people to teach him how to talk, sure. how to do commercials. Like he couldn't do it in Rocky Two because he only made he only cleared thirty grand uh, from that first right. fight, so he didn't have the the cloud of the money. Yeah. So yeah, and he all can get investments and surgeries, he can get all that kind of stuff. Um, so so what, what, actually, what, I want to ask Sean about that, but but before we get to that, uh, Christy said, oh, he, uh, he Rocky looked different. Um, for this movie, Sylvester Stallone went down to 155 pounds. Mm. In the film, uh, when he fight when he when he first uh, you know tussles with with Thunderlips, he's uh, he's 202, 202 or 203. Yeah. By the time he fights Clever Lang, he's 192. Yeah. So in in the movie, he lost 10 pounds. Be, you know, going on the Apollo program, we'll call it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but in real life, he was actually 155 because he wanted club. He wanted Mr. T to look that much bigger. Right. Yeah. And what he yeah. did, he lost so much weight um, that he was becoming disoriented on set. And he used to have to do handstands to get the blood to rush to his head. Wow. That sounds healthy. Because he would only he would eat five. He would eat five egg whites and a piece of toast each day. And then on, on another day, he did oatmeal or something. He lost so much weight. But got ripped. I mean, the guy got totally ripped. But uh, Eric makes a good point. And Sean, I want to ask you about that because Mickey says it, too. Mickey says to, to Rocky, he goes, the, the worst thing that, that, that happened to you is, you know, that happens to a fighter happened to you. You got civilized. Yeah. You know, Why and Paulie kind of, Paulie kind of foreshadows it in the beginning too. He goes, you're different. You changed because Paulie in, in that montage, Paulie is, is watching from the stands and he's drinking on, drinking from his bottle. <laughs> do, do you think, is there something to that? Do you think that, you know, you, you, you lose, you lose a little something when you, yeah. when you get a taste of the big time. I think so. And, and actually right after the montage in the, the opening starts out with fireworks. It's like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. That's how the film starts <laughs> with fireworks. And then, it, yeah, he's completely gone Hollywood. He's lost his edge. And these are things I didn't pick up on when I was eight years old, you know, like I was just like fight, you know, where the fights and the montage, but um, <laughs> now I'm like, Oh my gosh, this guy, you know, he's trained and he's, he's got the band playing the, the theme song, but he's got his brother, <laughs> Frank Stallone reference. They're Making like, his second yeah. podcast appearance. That's right. Uh, yeah. I should have a Frank Stallone bell at my house. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's getting kissed by his, his real wife. That's, yeah. the, you know that, right? That's his real mm-hmm. wife. No, I didn't know that. That's his real wife. When he's, when he's working out on that machine. But the thing I will say is, Despite all that, Mickey says, I'm proud of you. Yeah, he's like, going to yeah. kill you. That's the problem yeah. I have. And Mickey's like, I'm proud of you. You're going to do it. He didn't train, right? And, and no, Mickey he did knew not. That. No, Mickey no. knows. Mickey knows that at this point, it's, it's you he's know, gonna he's going through the motions. So Maybe. he's going to do, you know, at that point, why rock the boat, right? I mean, that's, yeah, I think I Mickey kind of knew, you know, he, he put up the good fight that there was that great scene about you know, the hand, you know, the, the, the fighters were handpicked and, and this was like a paper, you know, I didn't really fight anybody. And, and, and even Adrian says that, you know, Mickey's job is to protect you. And, and mm-hmm. you know, so there's a, there's a great like conflict there sure. of Rocky really questioning his worth because he gets totally pummeled by Clubber Lang. I mean, oh, yeah. Jerry Clubber Lang destroys him inside of, you know, uh, inside of two rounds. I mean, it wasn't even close. And, and for one thing in, in these movies, Jerry, I don't, maybe if you've been in any street fights or boxing rings, but, do these guys do these guys try and block punches or no? No, if boxing really looked down. like that, I would I would watch boxing all, yeah. all the time. Right. If it really yeah. looked like that. I mean it's Absolutely. the most exciting sport ever. I remember being disappointed when I watched real boxing. I'm like, where yeah. is yeah. 
Where's, where's the roundhouse? Where's, like where's the spit? Like where's the... Was, was where's the punching? Where where's was. the big head yeah. snaps? <laughs> where's where's the, right. the roundhouse punch? Yeah. yeah. And the, the taunting and all <laughs> that stuff. But it was, you know, I, I, I guess when you, you know, you, you have to choreograph it a certain way, but, yeah. you know, to go back to, you know, with, with uh, the um, Mickey, Mickey picking the fights for him and stuff. To me, Mickey, in that whole little area, Mickey kind of showed himself to be probably the best trainer. I've, I mean, he, he got, he, he did what he had to do mm -hmm. for, for Rocky. And then but, he was he out. Really? I mean, you know, I think, I mean, well, cause he knew, he, he, knew like enough. he wasn't capable. So why, why was he doing that? Cause he was civilized. No, Rocky. I'm going to interject here, but Rock, no, Rocky was never a good boxer. He was a bruiser. Yeah. He could take it. Yeah. He could is... take the punishment, but he can't, he couldn't, he could give you like, you know, give as good as he can take, but he didn't have the skill set that, that Apollo had. Yeah. You know, and, and Apollo knew this, you know, of course, but, you know, he, he just couldn't defeat the guy. He was like punching steel mm -hmm. after a while. How much can you how much can this guy take? I can't beat him because I could win with skill. I could win with points, but I can't. He's he's still standing. You can't outlast so, him. But Mickey, like he never he's he's teaching him the old ways like this is this. You know, he's going way back to like his 30s and. You know, we're talking like old school, like, and he never left the fight game. This was his life. This was his, you know, he, he was always, you know, he would go to fights and that's how he got to know cl about Clubber because he mm -hmm. would go to the fights and he was checking up on these guys and who's, and who's, uh, who's up and coming, and, you know? Yeah. yeah. And he saw that this, oh my God. That, yeah. That the, the fight game is passing him by. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and yeah, because he is in the montages of watching Clubber Lang, and that's when Clubber sees him in the audience. I want my shot, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, and Mickey, I guess, had the foresight to know that this is, you know, uh, you know, he's a wrecking machine. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, and, and to know that, you know, and, and Eric mentions old school, you know, old school boxing. It was great to see some old school wrestling with Hulk Hogan. Oh, yeah. 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 Because that's that the wrestling I remember. That, like, like, yes. like in, in 82, wrestling was almost like, Kind of, they were still making case that it was real. Right. Like it wasn't quote unquote sports entertainment. It was kind of like I would, that's when I was in 82, I was prime time watching wrestling on channel nine in New York, in the New York area local. Uh, it, it wasn't all about the stories. It was, it was about the guys got into the ring and the story was like a side thing. So seeing some of this old style Hulk, you know, Hulk Hogan yeah. stuff with, with, you know, slapping it, slapping his bicep and, and really taunting the crowd. Like that's the way it used to be that, like that. I show remember. I remember um, you were a big fan of Jimmy Snuka. Yeah, Superfly. Well, Superfly. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. yeah. Didn't well, you have like uh, a big, po big poster yes. of him on your wall or something like yeah. that or something? I had a, yeah, I had a Superfly. Yep. 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 That's him. Yep. Um, so it was it was it was fun to see like that old stuff uh, that because that's the kind of stuff you used to see back then is those exhibition matches yep. with a wrestler and a boxer and uh, that kind of stuff was real. So it was nice to see uh, Hulk Hogan. Uh, I don't know how. I mean, when you see Hogan picking up uh, picking up Rocky, it looks like he's holding like a dwarf. Yeah, yeah. Like when he throws, he like throw when he throws him into the in, in, into the into the stand. Yeah. The guy looks tiny. I mean, okay. I know Hogan still is he, Stallone's tall. not tall. Isn't still like five? No, no. Yeah. he's he's shrimp. Can, he's and, really and short. Fact, yeah, and if he's and if he's, if, he, and if he's a buck Hogan fifty, up. if he weighs a buck fifty five, that's yeah. like throwing a kid. Yeah. Yeah. He struggled yep. to hold Hulk Hogan up. He, yeah. Hulk Hogan had to jump into his arms. Yeah. <laughs> because he couldn't deadlift him like Hogan lifted him. Well, I think that's part of the genius of the casting of Hulk Hogan yeah. because he just yeah. looks so much bigger. It's yeah. like it's it's forced perspective. It's like because Stallone's so so he, short and like he's supposed to be line. taller. So when but he when he comes <laughs> up to Hulk Hogan, the guy's like seven foot tall, you know. Hogan, um, like, yeah, so I thought why it was great. are they carrying yeah. him in? Yeah, what does he eat? He's like about 202 <laughs> pounds. <laughs> Weighing in at 202 yeah, pounds. Two pounds. <laughs> you know, so a lot of great, like little thing, like little side things like that. They, you know, they kept the, you know, and yeah. Stallone was really great at that. He knew the characters, yes. you know, and he, he wrote Mickey so well. You know, Mickey is crotchety, but he's also, you know, a human being. He's not just all that, you know, all the complaining. Um, because he really cared for him, but he was able to have fun at, at, like that. You know, did you ever fight a dinosaur? You know, like that kind of stuff. <laughs> what the like, heck? Was a variety of problems. <laughs> you know, we're talking about Hulk Hogan, right and we're talking about 
Hulk Hogan 40 years later. But don't forget when this movie came out, no one knew who Hulk Hogan yeah. was. Yeah. He just yeah. started. Oh, right. So for, yeah. for, for the viewers of the film, it's like, who's this guy? And like what you were saying, Dean, like back then wrestling was different and it was it was a lot real. of people watched it so it real. we we watch it and we know who hulk hogan is and we know the history of hulk hogan and everything that happened but back then when they're watching it they're like who's yeah. this giant i mean same thing as like yeah. mr t that was his film debut yeah, no no one knew That's who mr right. t was and we That's look right. at it we're like you know 18 and what a debut it was yeah, yeah. the Fantastic. ultimate male versus yeah. the ultimate yeah. meatball yeah. dc camp <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, he's not, and he and you know what he was you know, originally uh, Stallone wanted uh, pro, pro boxer. Two pro boxers were considered er, Ernie yep. Shavers and uh, Joe, Joe Frazier, Frazier, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and and I think Joe, I think Ernie and Ernie Shavers kind of came to the set one day, I think beforehand. And he's and Stallone said, listen, give give me a real like hit me like give me a real punch. Um, and he did. He almost killed him. Stallone yeah, had to like heard, escort yeah. himself out of there pretty quickly because he got really pretty hurt. <laughs> um, yeah, no, those yeah. guys didn't work out just because of their acting chops. And then there was a, you know, uh, I remember this. There was a, a world's toughest bouncer TV show, and Mr. T won it. Uh, and he, and he, you know, caught the eye of the casting director, and he took it very seriously. Like he took mm-hmm. acting lessons. He really wanted to, uh, to really bring some, dim- you know, the, the guy doesn't have a whole lot of dimension, but he's got a lot of menace, and he's got to have the right attitude. Uh, oh yeah, and he, and he's. <clears throat> He could easily go over the top, but he doesn't. He is quite menacing. He's quite yeah. threatening. Yeah. He's yeah, got he's a scary. You know, he's got yeah. a level that he kind of stops at, and and it's enough. Yeah, he's you know? like a and, feral and to, animal. To the point, thing. He's to just, the point where, wow. um, <clears throat> when he went to go see the film, he took his mother yeah. to go see, his, <laughs> see the film. And at the point when <clears throat> when he's like taunting Adrian, like woman, you know, why don't you come see somebody? And and Mr. T's uh, mother left. She goes, my son doesn't talk to women like that. <laughs> Yeah. And she got up, she got up and actually left the screening because she was so annoyed like that. He would, you know, obviously, you know, it was a character, but, you know, I did, you, uh, did anybody notice? Um, here's a little uh, <clears throat> cool little thing. I watched it and the band when it's playing again, the Rocky theme song. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why like they're playing the Rocky reality. Theme. Right. Um, but one of the drummers, if you know, if you look real close, the, the skin of his drum has Mr. T signed it. Oh, really? There's a yeah, signature yeah, on yeah, the drum. Mr. Was, T I heard that. I heard about so that. Ooh, I'm, I'm thinking that these got these kids were were extras, but they were probably a, a band from a real high school. Yeah, right? that they Stallone were, brought in. They were from a real yeah. high school, so they were yeah, on that set was like, that day. I, I, yeah, I, I thought about that too. Like they're playing the Rocky theme in the Rocky movie. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. That's, that's like the score. Like when do, when does a boxer have his own actual yeah. theme that's like scored? You yeah. know, and then and then what at the end when when Rocky's like finishing up and they're playing it like softly and and Mickey's like stop, you know. Play something else. Change your tune back there. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's <laughs> it's kind of in the in in theme with it. But when he's on set the Sesame Street, when they show him on Sesame yeah. Street during, that's actually his real footage from when he was on Sesame. The Muppet Street. Show. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. have a lot show. of that yeah, cross. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and there was, and there was some award show footage that that they, they used as well. So it was great that they were able to capitalize on Sylvester Stallone's actual like appearances yeah. Yeah. to incorporate that into the character. You know, they like, yeah, he was on the Muppet show and he's doing, uh, you know, all these different ads and whatnot. He did a Delorean, there was a Delorean ad in there too. So a little back to the future, maybe, yeah. uh, so, yeah. you know, he's a, he was a rising universe. star and Rocky was rising with him. It's, it's yeah. like his persona. I mean, the movie was decidedly a lot more Hollywood. Rocky three was, you know, compared to the first movie, which is just a low budget film. It's just, you know, in, in indie film, uh, yeah. This thing is like a, you know, an action movie. It's like, it's gotten to that point where, you know, it's not exactly, he's not exactly jumping the shark here. Like, uh, well, I would that, say. That's today or that's yesterday, Rocky by the way. Was that the What's anniversary? That? It was yesterday or today of, of him jumping the shark, by the way. Oh, the real jumping the shark? Yeah, oh, the Fonzie. Real oh, Fonzie? The, 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 the episode. The, oh, the, okay. <laughs> the anniversary you know was that? either, because we were in the car and it was on the news. And we need they to honor that. About, they referenced it. It was either yesterday or today. <laughs> Eric, that's an interesting point. Um, you bring up that Stallone was rising to fame simultaneously with his character, mm-hmm. Rocky. And yeah. that might be a number of reasons, Dean, why he doesn't, people don't associate him with anything else or he doesn't step out of that comfort yeah. zone and he right. doesn't let go yeah. of it because because there's probably a, a, an ego thing, but also a psychological 
if I keep Rocky relevant, I'm relevant, you know, and that's. Well, he, said, he said as much. He said that Rocky yeah. has been his therapist. Rocky is a near and dear friend. Uh, Rocky is like a brother because he's he's written this character for so long and, and he's able to kind of, you know, um, use him as, as some type of catharsis or some type of therapy in, in he writing. He doesn't say they have dinner together from, and they go for long walks. Well, 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 consider consider, consider a lot of the speeches zone. that Rocky makes, especially like I'm thinking the great speech when he's, when he's giving it to his son yeah. in Rocky Balboa, yep. which I was brought to tears. My, I'm watching it with my oldest son. We were both crying at that scene because he's just life will beat you down. And it's like, you know, and it was such a great speech. But that's Stallone talking too. When you hear him yeah. outside of that, in like in interviews and stuff, he'll say the same exact stuff. Yes. So he purposely wrote that, you know, into the script. So, yeah. yeah. So, Sean, but, what <clears throat> most overused line in the film? Oh, I the it, tiger rock. I the tiger. Um, I mean, Apollo is the only <laughs> about, one that's Apollo is yeah. the only one that actually says that line. But he he kill he steamrolls it. Yeah, and Paulie, yeah. I don't sweat you. I couldn't like he must, he must have said it a hundred <laughs> times. Sweat you? I don't sweat you. I don't, can, can I have a job? Yeah, <laughs> he, took, he took a shot from Hulk Hogan. He he did a, he did a nice fall. Like when when Hulk Hogan knocked him in the head, Paulie did a real fall. Like he did a real wrestling. And what ball. does Paulie do? But hold the radio in the butt. That's what that's, that's his, it. And, and they complain. He's and the complain. comic relief. He's that's the jealous. Job. Yeah. Well, what is his job? Like what is he doing? Why no, is he, he in the way? Sean, he holds the bucket when yeah. when Rocky actually really spits on him and he's not prepared yeah. and Burt Young has a real reaction to it. Yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. he ba- Sean, Sean, he basically does what a kid would do that worked for a boxer. He does like all the menial yeah, stuff, like, yeah. Yeah, like holding like the stool. Yeah. What and, else is you know, he good like, for do, Like putting the, putting the towel around him and standing around like that. That was it. You know, I love Paulie, but you know, well, I love the scene where he, he boom. I love the scene where he's yelling at the bums in the alley. Yes. Shut up, you sterno bums. And then he's, 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 he's lies down and he's got a newspaper. newspaper and a blanket. Yeah. He's, he's just as much of a bum as yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's funny. You know, you need, to, you need a place with more class. It's like, you, you know, go back to the first Rocky in, in, in yeah. Philly. It was kind of dirty and pretty, pretty yeah. grungy back there. Yeah. You know? Now, yeah. now all of a sudden he's a, he's an aristocrat. It's just a <laughs> right. What, what about the what about the bromance between Rocky and Apollo? The 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 racing down oh. the beach, oh, splash, the splashing in the waves, splashing in the waves. Good Jerry. lord! What, what do you Fred think, Jerry? Splashing in the waves is that a bromance? Is that the first to the bromance? Top gun uh, volleyball scene. Uh, well, that's that dancing predates in the, it. In the, yeah. Oh man, it, it yeah, predates it. it. These guys got the cut. These got got the inside out cut off sweatshirts. And yeah, the, what's uh, the, the deal? crop top, uh, the high shorts, shorts, man. Short shorts, high, high socks shorts, and, and those... even higher socks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for every inch you you move the shorts up, you move the socks up two inches. <laughs> yeah. And That's how about those close ups of those the, of, real. This, of those thighs, those socks. man? Of the of the thighs, like you see, like uh, if you if you yeah. move the camera just a, just an inch, you could probably look up Apollo oh shorts God. there. And, 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 you know? and by the way, if that's what you look like in slow motion running, no one ever takes slow motion videos of me running. Like their no. facial expressions oh, are yeah. absolutely didn't re- look so bad. ridiculous. Rock- like Stallone's like. <laughs> Yeah. Even the free, yeah, the freeze frame at the end. Stallone's <laughs> got to have no, like, not worry about like the freeze frame when he's uh, hands in the air and his face on his, is like, in his face. He's got like, that side, right. like, uh, yeah, you know, like, wow, that's not a, it's not a gl- yeah, it's just... clap, clapping and dancing in the waves, hugging Sean. What do you think? I got, Romance? but I got, yeah, but I, I loved Apollo in this movie. I love, yeah. I, I think he's got some great lines. I think he has got a lot of wisdom. Yeah. Um, his, he's got some, you know, there is no tomorrow. Like you, you walk, <laughs> you remember those lines. Um, yeah, just some of the things. He's just a man. He's just a man. You know, like he's just mm-hmm. a more man. Yeah, I, I think he's. I think he's great as, in that role. And I, I actually wished that we could see Apollo fight Clever Lang because. Oh I, man, that 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 scene where he yeah. comes up to him and he's like, "Get out of my face!" Yeah, I love. You know, it. I don't need no has been. Don't turn your back corner. on me. Yeah. Well, they they didn't get along on set. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They yeah. actually yeah. did not. Mr. T and uh, and um, Carl Weathers did not get along on set. So the scene right when he when before he fights Rocky. And Apollo walks over to him, and there's yeah. a little hostility. That's they real. just had a fight uh, right before that scene. Like, oh, oh I, I, I believe it. Oh, look I at the so good Mr. That T. It's his first yeah. movie, and he's not getting along with Carl Weathers, who's been in the yeah. first two. Like, what yeah. the stones are? Yeah. He's like, he got, he, got, he got bouncer of the year, Sean. What are you oh, oh, right, <laughs> right, right, right. Mr. T was like, come to be come on, Creed. We see Cab next. Paper champion. Come on, Creed. Like, oh, he says it with such contempt. I love it. I love it. Come on, you want to jump? No, he's he's great. He's just so full. Like 
you know, just so, so angry and just like, so like, yeah. like singularly focused, but that's what it is. It's like, and he says it, he goes, I train alone. I'll win the championship alone. You and, know? I, and he doesn't mm-hmm. need any, was it, was he a precursor to like literally a precursor to Mike Tyson? You know, like this devastating boxer that would destroy people in, in two rounds yeah, br- brutally. And then a few years later, Mike Tyson comes on the scene and is like the real Clubber Lang. The like, real deal, Clubber like 30 Lang's, second knockdowns. Clubber Lang seemed to have a little more... Uh, deeper voice. Well, deeper voice, <laughs> less face tattoos later on, but also seemed to have a little more brains, I guess. Okay. Mike, Mike Tyson... Brute strength, was, brute was just He was like just a monster. He was a yeah. machine. He mm-hmm. had people got... Clubber Lang, I think, as the character's written, literally did it on his own. Yeah. And... That's why, like, he to me is like one of the best villains. Like, Drago oh, yeah. in four is like a cartoon. And there's also Absolutely. the, the, he's like a boxing War. terminator. Clubber Lang is yeah. like, like, yeah. when he's pacing before the fight and they have, like, he looks like a caged animal and then he mm-hmm. runs over and he knocks the camera. Yeah. I would be terrified <laughs> just to yeah. even be near that. So, and like, his villainy is just, I thought, for yeah, he's got role, a really, I don't even know if he has a short fuse. I don't think do he has know, any fuse. Do you know why? Jerry, do you know why? Because he has the what? eye of the tiger. Well, that, yeah. <laughs> he didn't have it. Well, no, he took it. He took it from Rocky. He took right. it from the tiger. <laughs> I don't you know. You gotta get it back. So I, I, I told a, him you gotta get it back. I have a question. Do you think he's responsible for Mickey's death? Oh. Clubber? No. Oh, he had a, no. he had a little bit of a no. heart thing before that. Yeah, and he had the yeah. thunderlips. Yeah, it yeah. was it was inevitable. But the the bigger question is: had that not happened to had that not happened to Mickey, would Rocky have fought better? No. no. Or was this destined to be a disaster from he the going to lose that fight? I would have been so. even worse. He was losing. Because, he was losing. No matter well, what. he was losing. He was probably going to lose. But would it have been such a bloodbath? Because he was, you know, and that's a great scene. Where, mm-hmm. where Rocky's like, Adrian, what do I do? And oh. Mickey's like, you don't know what to do at this point in your life. Like, what? Like, what is yeah, your problem? Last like, go, breath, go out yeah. there. He's like, go out there and do it. Like, yep. that. This is what you're built for. Like, you're questioning even this now. Like, that. You're what? That what was, do you do? And that that's had a really words, powerful, such a struggle for him to yeah. to, to muster yeah. up that. He's like, he, he grabs him. Energy. Like, what do you, yeah. you know. And after all this last, time, you don't know. That's the last yeah. words he utters on his feet. You know, and then yeah. the next thing yeah. goes down right after that. So that's right. Yep. Yeah. I gotta say, when at, at the, the the funeral scene, um, the makeup on the bruising of Rocky is so yeah. realistic. It yeah. looked like like mm. there's just a the, you know how he had the glasses on and then the bruising just and around just his the, eyes. Whoever did that makeup, side, it looked yeah. really incredible. Yeah. Like yeah. I gotta give him kudos to just Westmore. Like, yeah. Michael Westmore did it. it. He did uh Star Trek. He worked on Star Trek and a number of shows, you know. So, yeah, yeah, he did. A, it's yep. just really like kind of like you almost don't even think about it. It's like, wow, he's really bruised up. And you don't think, wow, is that makeup? It just looks so like, I don't know. I just had to give credit to the bruise. Yeah. Uh, credit to the bruise. <laughs> no, it did. It looked great. Yeah. <laughs> and since you brought up the funeral, uh, until no one knew he Mickey was going to be Jewish. Right. They made him yeah. Jewish uh, uh, <laughs> as an homage to uh, a lot of Jewish. a lot of uh, the trainers were, right. were Jewish men. But everyone, mm-hmm. including myself, just assumed Mickey was an Irish, Irish, Irish guy. Catholic. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And then they said, "We're going to give him the last name Goldmill." Uh, yeah. And for some reason, they made him two years older than Burgess yeah. Meredith really is. Burgess Meredith was born in 1907. Mickey Goldmill was born in 1905. Why make him older? I don't know. <laughs> I think they also What's two years going to do, age. Sean? Yeah. What, what does two years do, Sean? I don't it, understand. It, I, not much. More experience. Not much. <laughs> two more years so, of ring experience. Okay. What about Adrian in this movie? Oh boy! Oh, oh boy! Oh boy. No, Are no, you no, ready? No, no. Are we ready? I, so, I, like, a oh, yes. What's the part I'm going to bring up? Come on. With the beach? Tra- when she no? When she tries to sing, take oh, you back. Oh, singing. Do 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 do. Is she is she deaf? I was like, come on. I'm like, what you hear? And he's like, no, you're doing it wrong. She's like, do 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 do. Do 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 do. Like, come on. Well, Stallone, I mean, doesn't have his brother's voice either. I mean, yeah. he's no. like, you know, no, yeah, why, why, you know, he only he understands. Like, oh, do, 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 do. you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that then was he's like, like, oh. what does he say? I don't know the rest of the composition. The composition. I, I forgot the rest of the yeah. composition. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I forgot the rest yeah. of the composition. So, uh, you know, 
Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm just yeah, gonna say. She, she's kind of, I mean, she's she's more at this point. She became more of a, a side side thing, like in the she stands, was just a re reacting to things, and then she gets her one speech, and it was yeah. a little. Talia Shire could be a little over. Yeah. Like she, I, and she was really yeah. good as Mousy Adrian, but then when she I became like the Mousy other Adrian, Adrian she kind of, kind of like, really kind of like started. Yeah, chewing, you know, some scenes she's kind of chewing it up a little bit. You know, I, you know yeah. what she, she that character at, just, you know, that's because right. she took a little bit of Connie from the Godfather. Right. Yeah, I she agree. brought it. She brought good it in point. because when she when she yells yeah. at Michael, when she, when, right. when yeah. he when he when he when he kills um, she should have left Carlo Connie there, Carlo, <laughs> and uh, you know, and she goes after him. You. That you see shades of that in, in yeah, Adrian, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. you really do. Um, and was yeah. this the beginning of the Adrian, like w slow, her slow mo? You're good, like weird. Yeah. <laughs> because there should be someone should put an Adrian <laughs> montage together of all of her no. odd moments <laughs> of You're yelling, gonna do You're it. gonna do it, or Rocky, or yeah. throw in the towel. Whatever. Why did, why did you have to go with them on the? Why did they leave the sun alone? All the time. And she had to go sit with her fur I, coat and every practice. Yeah, well, they left, they yeah left, right. They left, they left, they left. First of all, they call him the kid in the film. They don't even have, he doesn't even have a name yet. He would be no. Robert eventually, but he's like the kid. You know, he's like, hey, Paul, don't take him to the track. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like, loving you know, these, uh... look, he can't care, wait, like, he can care less about the kid. Oh, there's me, there's you, there's the kid. Yeah. Like, when they're talking <laughs> to the losers, like, like, I don't, I don't even say the guy's name. I don't, I don't want to lose what I got. I got a kid. Yeah. Is you is what is the Adrian? A kid? What? What's the kid's name? Uh, what's I look truth? Damn it! Great stuff. Like I don't I know like the composition Adrian. of the kid's name. <laughs> Adrian in the other two movies is a better character. I don't. It just was strong. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Well, in the, the first, in the one first movie, yeah. Serg his son Sergio played it, and then in Rocky Five, State the late Sage Stallone played it. Yes, and he was yeah. the one I was getting bullied. He's like, Dad, you, kick his ass, Dad. Are, are we gonna talk? You're gonna spend a second talking about how the kid goes from the kid to Robert to at Rocky Four. He's 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 it's like nine, a soap opera and then Rocky, and then and then Rocky Five. Oh, yeah. Rocky Five. He's fifteen. Yeah, it's a yeah soap like opera. when they when they go to Russia. How long how, were they in, long in were, Russia? How long were they in Russia? Exactly. Years, hey, were they actually, in, like, there for five years? They come back and the kids like <laughs> twice. It was size. obviously extradition <laughs> issues at that point. <laughs> yeah. The Cold War was ending, and Rocky, you know. <laughs> Got stuck got at that Brittany, log cabin. Brittany he was, he was trying to pull her. logs to, you Brittany know, to his way out to get a visa. Uh, they and then Rob, they came back and Robert was this different, you know. <laughs> well, who's this kid? What happened to the kid? Robert was raised by the robot, Polish home, robot. Right. Yeah. Home team, home <laughs> team. Happy birthday, Robert. <laughs> Happy birthday, Robert. Happy birthday, Polly. Oh, oh my. One, one thing I noticed God. about the about the, the final fight is that the uh, – the first Police two rounds just of... had their helmets on. We oddly okay. Yeah. Well, they should <laughs> hopefully for protection. You, know, you don't know what's going to happen. No, they were like motorcycle <laughs> um, cops randomly next to regular other cops. And they had their helmets happens. on. You could take your helmet off, and you're not on the motorcycle. <laughs> probably, <laughs> uh, probably no heat in there. A riot here. Maybe they worried about a riot. <laughs> um, but the first two rounds were pretty short in comparison to the third round, which didn't yeah. even end. Like the first two rounds had a beginning and an end, and then the last round had no end until the knockout. Mm. Um, but that was a pretty long round. And I noticed also the first two rounds had no music. It wasn't until the third Ooh. round that the score started Kicks to in. kick yeah. in. So they kind of foreshadowed, okay, this is, some, this is when something's going to start to happen. Um, just, I mean, yeah, say what we're going to, we, we kind of laugh about the lack of, of defense in, in these box, in these films. But the choreography on that is just like some of the hits look mm -hmm. like they're, you know. And the misses. And you know, the, yeah, really like just st and, with yeah. Stallone, just kind of do like dodging those those the speed ones. of it. Is yeah, I mean, you really got to have yeah. you got to spend time doing that. And these guys yeah. are not. You know, obviously, they consulted with boxers, and I, at this at this point, I'm sure Stallone had some type of experience, a little bit, you know, studying it and writing about it. But um, when what like it, like we had said um, earlier, this is a fight the, uh... a fight heavy film, right? A fight heavy film. It wasn't. Yeah. More drama and less fighting. This was yeah. a lot of a lot of stuff had to happen yeah. between the wrestling stuff that it's you got to choreograph. It's interesting to fights. note that the the fight, you know, Clubber could have easily been like Rocky and said, "Well, I won the title, and I just, you know, he could mm -hmm. have slacked off." Right? Mm -hmm. No, but he trained exactly the same. He was still the same guy. I mean, he came back, and when Rocky was was really going after him, and he was like, un he could uncontrollable. He's like, Rah! and he's like, they had to, you know, took you know, like 10 guys to pull him down. And he's just like screaming and he's like, I'll kill you, man. And like, 
You felt that. I mean, yeah, that, that it. felt it real, man. It. That was yeah. just wow. Yeah. Yeah. He couldn't you know, believe what was happening. He could, That's why. Yeah. Well, yeah. Also, to Stallone's credit, he wrote the the last scene using the the rope of dope, which I guess Ali started, which yeah. is um, to. Yeah. Like and when you're watching it, you don't realize what he's doing. It's actually very strategic what he's doing to pretend that you know, to let let you know Clever Lang beat the crap out of him and look like mm. you're down, and then just you do that comeback. So that was that was yeah, he, you know, he, he got himself Paulie tired. He, 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 that. he used up all of his arms. What's he had that? nothing left. Only Paulie just, caught on to that. Yeah, it's yeah. Paulie. At one point when he's like, he's he's getting getting he's getting Paulie's like, no, he's getting angry. Yeah. yeah. Even though Rocky said, "It's my plan," he's breathing heavy. Apollo is still like, you're getting killed out there. You know, he's a big yeah, man. Because, be a bigger yeah, because man. Because they had a plan before, Jerry. Right? Right? Well, they, they had a training plan. So if, if if Apollo sees Rocky just throwing it away, he's going to be yeah. like, oh, this is going to be shades of what we just saw. Are we well, going to talk he, about he said, the training? He said as much. He said as much in the, when they were in watching the film. He goes, we got to put this guy away early. Rocky has to. Yeah. Otherwise, mm-hmm. Rocky's going to be the opposite of Mickey. But he's not, not going to last. That you know? sounds like the opposite, though. If, if he's not built to last, wouldn't you want him to go longer so he'd get tired? But he proved that he could last. That's why That's why hmm. he changed the strategy. The old Rocky came through. The bruiser. And it, was like a, it was like a hybrid. It was like, I'm going to take this. Now I'm going to take everything he's got. To prove that I, I can I can take it and just get him pissed off and he's going to start wasting his punches, yeah. you know. So there was, there, there was a little, there was much, like, you know, he knew what he was doing there, but despite that, he got knocked down like twice. Yeah, one more time, he would have been out. I mean, they would have stopped they, 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 a big they, risk. You, you know? get knocked down twice. To, I mean, I know it's a movie, but you get knocked down twice like that. I mean, maybe even the yeah. first time that fight is over. Yeah, but was yeah, that was, included yeah. in his rope dope? <laughs> I don't down? think so. No, <laughs> like, no, I didn't think go so. down. Like, at what point does the rope of dope come in into play? Then I, I didn't get the I didn't get the playbook. I don't know. I, I think after the second knockdown, he probably you know once he got back up, I think he probably <laughs> figured, okay, let me get my he head totally together. Because plan. why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he have done that in the first fight? It's because his head wasn't in the fight. So I think yeah. after yeah. the second knockdown, he figured, okay, you know what? Let's change this up a little bit. I can, you know, I can sustain this kind of punishment because that's that mm-hmm. was basically the same thing in Rocky yeah. Four was like he's his a ability to better athlete, you know. Yeah, he's, just to he's get a much out. better boxer after he trains with Apollo. He has rhythm. Yeah. He knows how to how to how to to duck. He's not, you know, he's he's let he's, he's more of a faster. fighter and less of a bruiser after yeah. he yeah. trains yeah. with Apollo. Like he's he a lot actually, faster. Yeah, he learns yeah. skill and he he's. Lost- he, well, and they say he twenty. The weight. Well, they yeah. say oh, he yeah. looks twenty pounds trimmer, but it's actually ten pounds when they say the weight difference. But yeah. and then mm-hmm. in real life, to, to Dean said it was even more. Five, but um, one interesting thing: what Duke? Why does he have his when they're 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 uh, sparring? Thank you, Chris. I was just I was gonna point. I, I, I made Duke's a note shirt? of that. Why is Duke taking? So what? they all have their like Apollo has his shirt off and Rocky has his shirt off. Why is Duke standing behind? Like with his shirt why is he shirtless? I said the same thing to to Wait, see, Kelly. We were watching this? it. When like, they're, when, they're when in they're the gym, training. it's like towards the, the end, like when when they're when Rocky's like actually good, you know, he's now uh, what Apollo when they're, wants. When they're and, like, and, and, and Duke is standing yeah, in the background, they're, they're, and he's got his shirt they're, off with the chain, like yeah, he's they're dancing. Like, like, <laughs> it's hot. What's this? Maybe he was jumping in. <laughs> Which yeah, well, not, you know, was doing I, a couple I, of rounds. From what I understand, there's dope. unreleased footage of Mickey with his shirt off during training. Oh, well. <laughs> oh that, you know, they just didn't have time. You know, hey, uh, Mick, why don't you take your shirt off? And make yourself a little comfortable. You know, uh, Apollo does it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that man. second montage after Adrian's speech, I think that second montage is the best montage. That's when it all comes. That's, that's when it all yeah. comes together. Gets, montage. Even, that, even yeah, when, like, yeah. Of all the Rocky movies. That's my wow. favorite. Oh, I don't know. I like Rocky Four when he's training and he's lifting and he's running up. I do like that one. And when he gets it's in cool. and out of the car, when he lo- when when after Apollo dies, way out. But but Jerry, the that's song? one of my favorite scenes in in Rocky Three. Uh, that montage. It's such a good montage. It really mm. is. Especially when he pulls Paulie into the pool. Yeah. 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 Paulie. I kind of like. I like the one can, from Rocky Two. I like the one the kids. Can he swim? The kids. With a name like Rock? <laughs> like Rock. Because yeah. in Rocky 2, you had two, you know, you had the, you know, going to fly now thing, but you also had the montage right before it. So you see when he, when, yeah. they, when, when she says, when she finally wakes up from the coma and yeah. she says, you know, win. Yep. And then you hear the music and he's like, what are you, Bells. what are we waiting yeah. for? Take this, you know, let's <laughs> yeah. go, you know, because he wasted a lot of time. So he had to make up for a lot of time. So you see him with the sledgehammer in the junkyard and, pulling the you know stuff and you know 
but I like the I like the gonna fly now with the kids. That's, yes. that's my favorite. When all the kids are chasing oh, that chasing is them, yeah. that brings yeah, oh, of course a tear to the eye and you know, but uh yeah, but that's great. That's when has, all the has kids anybody are... been to Philly? Has yes. anybody been to the steps? No. I've sure. read the steps. I've been to the I steps. did it. My daughters, yeah. I made them do it. They haven't seen Rocky yet. they they've kind of watched it with me down there. But uh-huh. she's like, is that like the, is that where we ran up the steps? <laughs> I'm like <"Yeah." laughs> we the statue. Yeah, we've done yeah, there was a little controversy about the statue. They, there was actually yeah. three statues that were built for the film. Um, and they wanted to leave the statue where it was in front of that museum. And the museum's kind of like, you know, yeah, it's, is this, this is, a pro- is this a prop or is this art? Like there was really a, a question about it. It's, it's probably a little bit of both. Right. right? Mm-hmm. It was a movie prop, but it is a piece of art at that point. Uh, they took it away. They moved it to like the spectrum center or whatever. Uh, and then they, they brought it back and now it's back at, at, it's not at the top of the steps no. anymore. I think it's at the bottom now, but you know, what's yeah. at the top it's of the steps, Dean? Park, I think. What, Rocky's no rock. Yeah. <laughs> Rocky's footprints, and it says Rocky the the footprints. Uh-huh. They're on the top, so where he like oh, stood nice. at the top, you see you, you, down, you see the footprints of the Converse. I guess what he was wearing. Cool. Yeah. yeah, back then <laughs> running in Converse. Jeez, Jerry, what do you think about that? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'd have some issues. Yeah, well, our fasciitis. Here we come. Shoot. I don't know. It's just gonna soak up all the moisture. I'm not yeah. sure. That was were, were cons ever uh, were, were they ever comfortable? They're they're, they're yeah. so hard to walk in. Yeah. They're so flat. Never yeah, I can't imagine yeah, running in them. It was the default shoe. I mean, that was the shoe. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it was it was fashion over comfort. It wasn't about yeah. being comfortable. It was about having the you know the the converse and the and he had the gray the the solid gray sweat pant combo yeah back with the, then. but then with in, the, in, with in the big III, stain in his, uh, on his ass like yeah. like he looks like he took a. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, in the first movie, it's like no, no, the, it's, he's got a big it's, wet it's, stain on his. On the, on I think his the ass. whole just... sweatsuit has stains, like random. Oh yeah, places. of course. Yeah, well, because he had a sweat. Like the way last Rocky run. Three had no problem. Rocky Three, he had his 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 black and, and yellow kind of logo yes. right. colors, like the Italian yeah, stallion, the stallion logo. He was logoed out, especially during the training session. They got all the concessions and the, yeah. and the pins and the and the posters and. Uh, it's interesting you, you talk about him like training and, and losing that weight, but I had heard that he was that that's when he was taking steroids. Really? Stallone. Yeah. He that's might, why he, he, might was so... been, he might have been for performance to get the because no, get the muscle. He that's why he was so and, cut. And four. Yeah. And four he was doing steroids. He was he was bigger, and four, he was <laughs> no, I mean in real life. No, Stallone was, uh, no, was no I'm saying in, in three yeah. and four, I believe he was taking steroids. You're not gonna still look like that without a little help. Body to get the body. I mean, he was really cut. In yeah. Rocky Three, compared to the first two movies, he's still, yeah, he's say, still but he was a little stocky. They say his you know. body, his body fat mm. percentage was as low as two percent, yeah, like two percent, mm. uh, which is insane. I mean, that's dangerous. No, you know, that's, yeah. Yeah. well, that's five pounds, and he's and he's cut, he's ripped that's like why that. He was passing out um, on the set. Yeah, no. it's crazy, yeah. absolutely crazy, crazy. Ugh. But such a good film, though. It, it's it's one of these ones that just you can put it on, yeah, and and you just take the you know take the trip. Uh, you, you laugh, you, 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 you poke some fun at it. You poke some holes in the boxing, sure. you know, it, it's, it's not, it's not meant to be authentic, uh, but it's, it's meant to be entertaining. And it really is. I mean, it is, it really like is. Like I said, yeah. I, I keep going back to half. Stallone writing it. Yeah, Jerry. It's like an hour and a half real. It's yeah, perfect. It's yeah, nice perfect time. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. But all the rocket movies with the, I, I agree with Sean with the, except like five is I liked Five. I'm like one no, of the few no. people that liked I Five. But Tommy, mm. no, it's yeah. just not a good movie. I think but it was good for its time. Touch me and I'll sue. Touch me and I'll, me and I'll sue. Touch me and I'll sue. Come on, Paul. But, <laughs> but the Rocky movies, they're they're just they're entertaining. Like it's it's kind of like yeah. the Die Hard movies, right? You know what you're signing up for. You, you're, uh-huh. you it's going to yeah. be ludicrous at times. It's going to be a little corny at times. But you're you're going to laugh. You're going to be on the edge of your yeah. seat. It's, it's it's they're just enjoyable movies. I, like yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed watching Rocky Absolutely. Three again. Yeah, I, got, I, I remember say- those laughs in the theater. I remember the laughs like vividly, mm-hmm. like where they come and how the audience reacted to it. It was a, you know, it was a- yeah. It's just it's got he's just got a really great touch. Like I said, yeah. he doesn't get. I don't think he gets enough, he gets enough uh, credit mm-hmm. for his screenwriting. Everyone just kind of takes it for granted. Maybe you one of the best lines in Rocky Five. I, I, I got to throw you one of the best lines in Rocky Five. When, when at the end, when Tommy Gunn comes into the bar and Paulie's going to, I know and, exactly and where you're Paulie, going. He goes, mm-hmm. you knocked him down. Won't you try knocking me down? Oh, 
I thought that's you were going on. Oh, then you know it's on. It's like the best <laughs> line was when Paulie says, Tommy, you're a piece of garbage. Yeah, you know, piece like, of garbage. <laughs> sure, what did you oh, think it was? Rock, I then, you know it's on, then you know Rocky's going to fight. He's like, why don't you try right. knocking me down? And it's like, okay, street fight. When my favorite line is when they're like, Rock, you need help? He's like, this ain't no pie eating guy. That one I remember yeah, the in the theater, the like, guys, yeah. laughing out loud. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, father, could you maybe throw a prayer down for yeah, Tommy Gunn so he doesn't get hurt? <laughs> right. doesn't, you know, like it, it's, it was it was more cartoonish, you know, yeah. uh, but, but, but you know, because of the way the character was, you know, let's uh, go back to the roots kind of thing. You know, it's yeah, all yeah it was just too far. The fall was too far from too steep. His, yeah. But yeah, that's what just, happens. From you, three you get a and four, but... that cleans you out and you're done. No, but well, I'm talking about to... just like even the way he spoke, like it just it just yeah, was I agree. It was just like I, I, totally I it's, it, it was it was it was too like, like it was very way. hard. Yeah, it was very hard to watch Rocky Five and accept like huh? he was okay, he so... was it was too forced. He was too yeah, like, uh, now he was overdoing it, you know. Well, you're, you're worse than you were in Rocky one and two. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah chasing yeah. the chickens, you know. Yeah. It's like well he got he got his he got his brain put into mush by Ivan Drago. I mean, what do you want? The guy destroyed him. I read that he wanted to kill Rocky off after three. Yeah. yeah, he wanted to be done yeah. with it. Like Rocky should have fight and then keel sure. over and just hear them shit, you know, and then that would be it. But, but then something mm-hmm. happened that made Solo him four. They got together and went bowling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Characters that want, want to, do. don't I'm want glad. characters that don't want to be in films anymore. It's like Hansel, like an actor. When does an actor say, "Yeah, kill my character. I don't want to do this anymore." <laughs> well, he's still doing it, right? Yeah. It's still, it's seven. Yes. What is he? Seventy six. Mm-hmm. Who? Who, who? I just 74? saw. I just saw the uh, new one he's in. Um, the oh, uh, I'm, uh, uh, the Samaritan. I, I have to say, I I didn't hate it. I I, I liked okay. it. Okay, I'm not I, sure what that means. I I liked it. <laughs> no, I, it. I, I liked it. I thought it, I thought I don't know if I'm gonna buy. It. I I thought it worked. I liked it. Yeah. I thought. Yeah, no, he's still it. vital. He's still got a lot to offer. Yeah. And like I said, he's he's got great ideas. And and yeah. uh, he went out on a limb. He really hustled and 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 kind of uh, used leverage when he wrote Rocky. You know, the like you know for I, him. I got to be in it. You know, you can get. Take him, he wanted to direct grand. that, and they said no. He goes, well, I'm, I have to be in. I have to be the lead. If you want the screenplay, I have to be the lead. Good for him. Really you know, gutsy move from from a from a, a very a, a veritable nobody. Yeah. And again, to, to, if if you if you challenge what we're saying about Stallone, watch he didn't direct it, but watch him in Copland. He's he's, yeah, he's great, a no. very good. He's a very good actor. And he doesn't and talk he, like that. He talks regular. Yeah, right. It's, and, and you can see, yeah, you can, you can see more of the man. Yeah, you can see more Isn't of the he, man. A, in, a much in different character. He, he's vulnerable. He, but he but, but he does play as like a slow. Witted guy though, yeah. isn't he, isn't he well, kind of like so witted, just he's kind of more wholesome, not in a rush right. to do anything. He's just kind of, yeah. but he's more, yeah, he's more small town body. sheriff, yeah. just yeah, kind of, yeah, town, just yeah. kind of like you know, eh, yeah. whatever things yeah. just happen, you know, but yeah. but not, uh, not not debilitated, just not in a rush to go anywhere, not right. in a rush to do anything, just well, happy with what he's, he's doing. He's partially and he's, deaf, so he's yeah, he's deaf, so he could, yeah, but I don't mean okay, pick for the force, right? Yeah. Was he being held back? Yeah, he was being. Yeah, Dear. but that—that's a great movie, by the way. Yeah, we'll get to that. That's just, that's a really. That's got a cast. I'm sure we will. You know, yeah. I'm waiting for that one to go. <laughs> Mangold, Dean, do it. Dean, make the announcement. <laughs> Wait, Wait, is it, isn't Mangold doing uh the new Raiders? Indy, yeah, Indy he did five, Indiana yeah. Jones five. Yeah. yeah, it's all done. Supposedly, supposedly very good. But let's let's refocus here. Let's close out. Yep. Uh, with as we do with favorite scenes. Uh, we'll see if there's going to be any overlap. It's interesting. Will it be, will it be dialogue that? stuff or will it be fight stuff? Jerry, Jerry, you start us off. Do we have anything to say about the soundtracks? Possibly the, the Iron Tiger? Soundtracks I, I, ever? I had yeah, the 45. I had the 45, and I love that song. I mean, all of them. How can you not be inspired by any of that stuff? Oh, Bill do you know Conti's what song music. he tried to yes. get? And I think he had to settle on Eye of the Tiger was uh, Queen. I know. Right. Fights oh, yeah. the Dust, right? Yeah. No, really? And the karate, couldn't get the rights. The and the Karate, karate Kid, kid song, song the best around. That was oh yeah, the oh, really? best. Yeah. yeah. Oh right. Every, oddly yeah, enough, that. that was oddly enough that Karate Kid was directed by John Avildsen, Al- Av- yes. who yeah. directed yeah. Rocky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so he got it first. He kind of grabbed it from him. But and uh, he directed five as well. Yeah. But yeah, Allison. Jerry, classic yeah. '80s songs, great soundtracks, <laughs> and you you can't listen to the songs without associating them with the movies. Yeah, that's like Top Gun. That's like Top Gun. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
When I hear Absolutely. that bam, 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 like something happens, you're like, whoa, whoa. Is Rocky <laughs> yeah, on? I think the only, the only, <laughs> the only <laughs> soundtrack I did It's like a fanfare. For. He has his own like fanfare kind of the, opening, opening the fanfare. One, that, the one that, I didn't care for was four. Yeah, I hated here. the electronic music that he decided. It was, I, I guess, like the, 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 when they were decidedly more appropriate, I guess, for, for what, because it was high tech. You like the James Brown? Yeah, no, I, I, I'm talking about the score. Oh, like the, score. Was, the guy that scored, funnily enough, the Transformers movie scored Rocky IV. He was like Vince mm. DiCola, I think is his name. Yeah. You got the touch. So, yeah, and it was like this sort of electronic <laughs> score. And I guess it's it's appropriate for, you know, yeah, at that time. Uh, you know, for then, him was, using the high tech equipment. Yeah, and, what yeah. was that? 80, you know, that was 85, right? Rocky 85. Four? Yeah, 85, yeah, 86, was, something like that. Yeah. That, was of it, yeah. that was of its time. So, right. Yeah. You can't but, fault you know, it for that. He redeemed himself on the soundtrack by putting Alvin the Chipmunks on. There you go. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Paulie yeah. singing, singing Christmas songs with Alvin and the Chipmunks. Can't go yeah. wrong with that. In, in Russia. In they Russia. should have had in Alvin and the Chipmunks the singing in nowhere. Russian. They should yeah. have had him doing the song in Russian. And I like Stallone with the beard. You never really see right. Stallone with a beard. Nighthawks. Rocky. He had a beard in Nighthawks. Nighthawks, yeah. Night, Nighthawks was a great film, too. Rucker right. Hower. Yeah. 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 He did Lizzie some Wagner. good stuff. He just, you know... Uh, and we had talked on our Beverly Hills Cop episode that that Stallone was considered for the role of Axel Foley, mm. um, and he took it. that story and and made it into made it Cobra. Some, yeah, mm. Marion Cabretti. Marion Cabretti character was was originally in uh, Beverly Hills Cop, huh. and St- they couldn't make it work. And then Stallone just took that and made basically his own Cobra. version of it, which was Cobra. Well, another one of those Cobra lines. Years. Classic. I'm going so to this whole this whole supermarket, and he says, "Go ahead, I don't shop here." <laughs> Not quite, not quite dirty, Harry. Well, not quite make my day. I yeah, know. But, but it's kind of funny. Paper, paper, or plastic. <laughs> That's like the opening scene. Well, how about yeah. the arm wrestling one? Well, oh, over, over the top. top. Oh, over, over the top. top was great. That was with uh, uh, Mochia, right? Yeah, yeah man. With like the right, and the right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like this, uh, this diesel truck. I just yeah, once you once you turn your hat around, then you're ready to arm wrestle. He drinks it. The other guy drinks a quart of Quaker State oil before the uh, yeah. whatever Valvoline or whatever he drinks. <laughs> And then there was the prison one, like Dean, I talked about with, uh, you know, the Ides of March song yeah. uh, that, that appeared. And when he was building the command, oh, you know, the- Was that lock up? Lock up? Lock, lock, that- lock down or lock, lock up? Down? Yeah. Lock up. Demolition yeah. Man. He did a lot of great, he did a lot of great was, uh, work. Cliffhanger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cliffhanger is great. Cliffhanger. Yeah. Cliffhanger is great. Yeah. 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 Opening scene. I was like, oh, yeah. What the hell? Yeah. That was something. Yeah. 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 No, he's had a great, he's had a great career. He's had, you know- He's had everyone for every every Rocky. He's had a stopper. My mom will shoot. I mean, yeah. everybody's got Oscar, <laughs> you know, Oscar. I mean, it, it, you know, as he got on in his career, he became a little more selective, you yeah. know, and uh, kind of. Um, one of my favorites was the specialist with I Sharon Stone. That was good. Yeah, James, was, was James Woods in that too? Uh, Eric Roberts and Eric and Roberts. Ron yeah. Iger. Oh, that Eric, was a Eric Roberts, the other guy who could play a scumbag like no yes. one else. I like oh, the Assassins too with Antonio Banderas. I yeah, that was I like good. That I like that one. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, yeah. He, so he's he's, had a, he's he's done some good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Again, yeah. you know, he's going to always forever be known as Rocky and Rambo. Yeah, and Rocky's yeah. going to overshadow those everything. Are his franchi- those are his franchises. That that's like the stuff he can return to like a warm blanket. Uh, but let, let's close out Rocky three, and, and like I tried to earlier, <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, what's what 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 scene really stands out for you? My favorite scene is yeah. the whole uh, Thunderlips. Yeah, <laughs> leaning more towards the front when they're having the banter. That's where the dinosaur line comes yeah. out. Yeah. It's where the two hundred and two pounds. Like Mickey is just right throwing the, the all the great lines out. Yeah. Having a good time clicking on that, and yeah. then just the way the fight just becomes pure mayhem. Like they really were trying to say, this is what wrestling's like. We're throwing people. He's throwing cops in the in the stands, and <laughs> and it was just so. Like Mickey at first is like, we got to get out of here, and then it then when Rocky's like, cut my cut my gloves off, cut my gloves off, and goes back, and I was laughing and just just it's so much pure entertainment going on yeah. in that, and mostly because of Mickey. I loved his lot. Like, why are they carrying him? He's not. He's walking. <laughs> that to me, I fell in love with Mickey. That was a big laugh. Yeah, that's the it. That was yeah. A, yeah, yeah. It's great, great stuff there. Christy, what do you got? Uh, well, I, I mean, I already said the montage uh, that Sean and I were. Uh, I, it was Sean or Jerry, but talking about um, 
I like the the montage when they're training and like everything's starting to click and work. And the the last the last fight scene with Clubber Lang, I, I like it. Mm-hmm. I, I just you you know what's gonna if you've seen the movie, you know what's gonna happen. You're still rooting for him. You're still watching him get this beating. It's well choreographed. It just shows it shows you the the true character of of Rocky Balboa of this guy who's willing to put it all on the line. He's going to take the beating and he's going to take the, the chance. And it just, it's a nice thing to see, especially in the movie as, as he struggles to get there. So mm-hmm. I, 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 that last, that last fighting scene is, right. I, I really, and, it's, and it. it's still exciting. It's still, every time you watch yeah, it, it's every still time, like, oh, it doesn't matter how many you know. times you've seen the movie, you're still like, Oh my God. You're not getting, you're not, you, you're not going to the bathroom during that scene. No. You're just yeah. not. Mm-hmm. Hold it. Mr. T looks really good when he gets hit in the head. Yeah, yeah, his head knocks back. back. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, it's, it's oh, just like 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 Dean just said before. Shuffles, shuffles from side to side. Like Dean said before, it was very well choreographed. The fight huh. scenes, really. Yeah. yeah, good stuff, Eric. What do you got? Um, the scene with Apollo when he comes to the gym, and he tells him, you know, he's yeah. like, "Why'd yeah. you come here?" And he's like, he's trying to convince him to mm. uh, that. All, all of that stuff. And then of course, yeah, I, I agree with Christy. The, the fight scene is most especially probably the last 10 seconds of it when it's synced to the music. Yeah. When it goes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it's perfect. Yeah. It's spot on. It's not spot on in the in, when, cause they use the same music in the second movie yeah. and it's, it's, it's kind of off, but here he, you know, he used it to, uh, the, the editing in that in that scene. Is yeah. Match, matched it up yeah. the way it should have been. Right. Yeah. For, for dramatic effect. Sean, that's right. Um, I, uh, of course you love fight scenes and I, I was feeling those in my body the other day. I'm like, I'm literally like, exactly. You know what happens and you're like, you're going this and you're like, is he going to win? Is he going to, my favorite scenes now, uh, I think as, as an adult and somebody who's watched this movie, I, I love the Apollo stuff and him. Um, I think Apollo's character really took on another level, um, another dimension, and I, I like, I, I just like the words he says to Rocky, like just the wisdom he imparts. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he's just a man. He's in the, you know, he's in the, in the corner. I enjoy like uh, the banter when Apollo decides he's going to be in Rocky's corner. Every scene, I, I, I now I'm like on every scene. I love it. And I, Apollo's probably my favorite Rocky character. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And I was very sad when he died. Uh, yeah. Spoiler yeah. alert for those who haven't he seen thought, it. Yeah, he thought Drago was going to be a piece of cake. Yeah. Like, Drago, you owe me a favor. What yeah. favor? And I, yeah. <laughs> and I think they revealed that Apollo gets the better of Rocky in that, in that uh, last yeah. scene. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. In, uh, in yeah. Creed. In Creed, it, it's, it yeah. says that he won, he won that fight. Uh, okay. Yeah, he won the, the, the yeah. fight. But right. did Rocky um, wash the trunks and give them back to Apollo? Probably yeah. not. Uh, I don't think so. Took him off his body and warm again. Uh, anyway, uh, Dean, your favorite scene. <laughs> My favorite scene. Oddly enough, it, I don't know if it's a favorite scene, but uh, it's a scene I'm not sure why it's in the film. Uh, and it's the opening scene with Paulie. Yeah, like I, it's it's just a very intriguing scene where the film opens with him. Right. It's very gritty. Yeah. It almost it almost calls back to the original Rockies and like yeah, this gritty bar, to. and he's yeah. drinking mm-hmm. and he's watching. And then, you know, uh, you know, you, you see all the different, when he goes into the arcade, you see all the different emotions. He's like smiling and growling. Yeah, That's weird. kind of the emotions I had in the, in the arcade during 82, but I wasn't drinking. Yeah. But I had those same kind of emotions, like smiling one minute and then angry the next because I ran out of quarters. Yeah. Um, but it didn't break any of the machines. But it was just a very strange setup yes. that kind of didn't get resolved. It, all this was because he wanted a job. It was just a weird, you know. Kind of a very strange setup, and then the movie just kind of pivots away from that, yeah, uh, in, mm. in a weird way. So I'm, I, you know, but it's always an intriguing beginning to the film, especially with Paulie as as like the first, the first thing you see really after the montage and after yeah. the end. And it's kind of like, okay, where are we going? It looks like it's going back to a grittiness, but then it kind of gets all clean, you know, quote unquote clean again. Like after, <laughs> like once that part ends, he says, "Yeah, I'll give you a job." It's like, okay, you know. yeah. So yeah. Uh, final question. Let's go around the table. Uh, Sylvester Stallone impression, grade from A to A. Christy, is the grade in my my uh, impression is it an A yours? or is it an A? Yeah, an A. Is to it an A, a or an A? Is it? is it an A or an A? You've got to choose two grades. You have a choice. Can is we my hear impression it again? An A or an A plus? Can we get? Can, enough, I, hear, can, yeah, get... can I hear? Yeah, can I hear the choices again? 
what line? What line? What choice? A or A plus? Those are the two. Those are the two. No, what, what, what line are you going to do so that we? Can no, whichever one, throughout the episode. I've been doing. I've been doing Stallone throughout. So what is? Oh, what is the grade? What is the that's final what, grade? Oh, that's the final oh, you've been doing that. Oh, that's what that. Was? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that was my Brad Pitt. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were having mini strokes. I didn't know. I was, and that's his. That's, that's his, 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 his invitation uh, his to Rocky. I, said, I think I, I think, think we should do a Clubber Lang impression, and then and then we'll. Uh, I, 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 I wasn't ready for that. I've been hey, practicing I've this all week. Was written by Sylvester Stallone. That's his tagline. That's the first I time it's ever said. Yeah. I paid I said, a paper champion. You're a paper right. champion. Okay. <laughs> See, that, right. okay, that so that's your Clubber. That's your Clubber impression, Eric. Do you have an impression of one of the characters since we're going around? <laughs> you can give us. A, you can give us a Mickey. Give us a Mickey. No, give us a, oh, give us Adrian. Yeah. I want to hear. Yes, Eric no, give us a Mickey. Do a good Mickey. Adrian, I, I think no, give us a Mickey. Mickey in him. Don't I do. Give us a Mickey. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm knocking it tomorrow. Hey. Hey. I love that. He's a crack you know, machine. Yeah. And, and just rolls that R. Sean, on Sean, what do you got? You know, I get. There <laughs> is no tomorrow. All right, there it is. Apollo, Jerry. Oh, well, who's left? Uh, whoever you Adrian, want. you have Adrian. Oh, Sing, take oh, it back. Jerry, Jerry, you just had it. Who's no, we, we, you just reminded me. Can we talk about Rocky crying? Jerry, do it. You just did it. Oh, yeah. Was Rocky fake. cries? Oh. Was it was he was we got so much to do about Clubber Lang winning the title. Yeah, that was when I watched it. When I watched it, his sob, his body motion of sobbing doesn't match with the no, sobbing. There's a lot done. of things in this film that do not link, that do not match up. Yeah, so when Clubber Lang wins the title, and he's like. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? Taking a dump in his hands. You gotta go. <laughs> you gotta go. Win. That's the best they can come up with. He's angry. That uh, was not. Uh, All right, well, oh. you know what? They, they, we got an impression out of everybody. I'm going to say, well done, everybody. Thank you for uh, <laughs> stepping out of your comfort zone and doing some impressions. I wasn't the it only one out around. on the All right, on this one. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode of the 3324 podcast. We had a lot of fun talking about Rocky the Third in its uh, uh, apparently ongoing sequel, sequel itis of films, and yep. we'll see if there's more to come or a prequel, as it were. I'll perhaps. be there. I'm there. Yeah. I, I think it's it's a beloved character. Yes. So I, you know, as long as he keeps doing it, I think people will be there and people yep. will buy it. If, as long as he keeps writing them too. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it. Christy, thank you so much for joining us. Jerry, thank you thank so much you. for joining yes, us. And sir. most especially Sean Always for pleasure. selecting thank you for, uh, Rocky 3. Selecting it. He's going to he's going to dig into uh, his attic. He's going to find those action yeah, figures gonna and he's f- going to simulate. He's going to recreate you have a these, belt? <laughs> these boxing these they boxing belts on YouTube. I don't know if I saw the belts, but they did come with a belt. It was pretty lame, but it was it came with it. All right. All right. Come on, Thank Creed. You. Anyway. <laughs> and Eric, as always, yes. here, as, and, and we're here weekly, and, and that's W-E-E-K-L-Y, not W-E-A-K-L-Y. Never. We will see you uh... <laughs> <laughs> with a laugh and a giggle. We'll yeah, say goodbye. Why not? You know what? It's, it's that kind of episode. We had a lot of fun. Yep. We hope you did as well. So check us out each week for new episodes of the music and movies that we that inspired and touched our lives. So for Eric, for Christy, for Jerry, and for Sean, this has been Dean asking you to please be kind and rewind. You've been listening to the 3324 Podcast with Dean Legiro and Eric Cooper. You can find us on your favorite podcast provider. So please like, subscribe, and rate to become a part of the 3324 family. Your feedback is important, so make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at 3324podcast and on Twitter at 3324p to join the conversation. 